The great physicist Max Planck says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Interesting words. All right, let's go back into history. Let's go back into the ancient Greeks. The ancient Greeks, we had several famous Greek mathematicians. We had people like Archimedes, Pythagoras, Euclid, and a number of famous Greek mathematicians. But when the Romans came along, we did not have any famous Roman mathematicians. And it wasn't because the Romans were somehow dumber than the Greeks. It was because of the numbering system they were using. It's because they used Roman numerals. Roman numerals here happens to be a pretty stupid numbering system, but in defense of the Romans, there happened to be a lot of stupid numbering systems at that time. The reason it was so inferior is it, didn't, it wasn't a placeholder numbering system. You didn't have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. Every number itself was an equation, and that prevented them from doing any higher math. This is a big concept here. An entire civilization was prevented from doing any higher math because of the system that they were using. The logical question then we should be asking is what systems do we employ today that are the equivalent to Roman numerals that are preventing us from doing great things? Ah, there happens to be a lot of them. We have a half-implemented metric system. We're buying 3.2-liter car engines. We're putting in quarts of oil. <laughs> we have a calendar system. 31 days some months, 30 days other months, and then you have February. And we have daylight savings time. Who the heck invented daylight savings time? And then the mother of all boat anchors around our neck happens to be our tax code. <laughs> it occupies entirely too much of our intellectual bandwidth. Uh, a good friend of mine, he recommended that the next time we do our taxes, we should actually do them in Roman numerals and then send them in. <laughs> <laughs> 